Good morning. It is Saturday, October 7th, day 22 on the Camino de Santiago. Frances, I am just leaving Hospital de Oprico. It is 7.30 a.m., 12 degrees, a high of 29 today. Uh, it's so funny, uh, everyone's leaving the albergue and they're all bundled up and they look at me. I'm in my shorts and uh, uh, sun shirt and they're like, aren't you cold? You're gonna be cold. I'm like, I'm from Canada. This is spring for me. 12 degrees, it feels actually really mild compared to, yesterday it was kind of chilly. Um, so the albergue was lovely. We had a lovely meal. Uh, the two Korean girls, they made uh, uh, like a Korean dish, which they told me was really spicy if I wanted, and I don't do spice. So I said no, so I made my uh, meat sauce and pasta, uh, which was a ton, but it ended up being fine because there were some boys and, excuse me, boys there, and they ended up finishing up, so it was all good. Um, so that was nice. We had a nice little conversation and there was a gentleman there from Guadalupe. Um, and uh, I know Guadalupe because I watch a show called Murder in Paradise, which takes place there. So it was quite funny. Um, and when Watson and I watch it, we always say, how are there so many murders in that tiny island? So the gentleman laughed when I said that. He knew exactly what I meant. Um, yeah, so I'm off to Astorga this morning. It's only 15, 16 kilometers. So uh, it's 7.30. Should, should be there like by 11, even if I lollygag, which is nice because there's lots to see in Astorga. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you this morning. I'm walking with the two Korean girls from last night and a woman from Croatia that slept uh, next to me at the albergue. The beds were really nice. We had the windows open, so it was nice and cool, which is nice, not stuffy. Um, yeah, the albergue was really lovely. This morning I had breakfast and we came downstairs and he, breakfast was between six and seven. He turned on the lights in the dorms at 6 a.m. Um, yeah, and he wants everyone out by 8, I guess because he needs to clean and get ready for when other people come in. But breakfast was nice. Uh, I recommend this place. It was very nice. Albergue Saint Martin? Uh, I can't remember. All right, uh, gotta get out my uh, flashlight, I mean my headlamp chat later. Made it to the first little town. It wasn't very far. I think uh, between this one and the store guard there's nothing. Yep. Do you want a stamp? He's giving stamps. Stamp. ¿Cuántos años estás aquí? Cuatro, años. Diecinueve años. ¿Cómo te llamas? Cubercindo. Cubercindo. Cubercindo, mira que tienes otro de Montreal. Yeah. 
Mucho. ¿Ya? <laughs> He's been here 25 years. <laughs> He has a stamp. Yes, but that's That is her entire backpack. Where she doesn't have a sleeping bag. No rain jacket. She's been lucky. It hasn't rained. But yeah, she wears the same thing every day. And uh, she has a few, I think she has a few little pieces of clothes. She said. Yeah. That's her backpack. I can follow you. You'll be my camera person. Yeah. You are the main character on this camino. <laughs> yeah, say hello to this camera. Hello. <laughs> I'm the producer. Tell me, what, what's in your bag? Uh, yeah, what's in the bag? Um, just a little clothes, just a two two pieces of clothes, just that. No and sleeping bag? No sleeping bag, and no raincoats, just a little umbrella. Oh, umbrella, that's yeah. good. And when I feel cold at night, I just wearing this yeah? little uh, jacket. And, and I saw yesterday you had a really nice dress. Yeah. That's for my tour. Yeah. Um, town tour dress. Town yeah. And Do you have extra shoes? Extra sandals? Yeah, sandals. Yeah. I bought it um, on this journey. Yeah. I have a Birkenstock, the light one. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. But uh, when I started the journey on the first day, yeah. you know, the free uh, yeah, is yeah. really hard. Yes. But It was it was rainy day. Ah, uh, windy day. Yes. And you know I have I don't have the raincoat. Yeah. So I totally wet. Yes. And um, for three hours. Yeah. So I feel oh I need the shoes when it rains. So yeah, yeah. I threw away the broken stock. Yeah. And both this. That, and, those are good. Yeah. Then after that, there are. Sunny days all I day. I know. <laughs> We've been so lucky. It's yeah. been so sunny every day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
it's a donativo. You just donate. Water, different jams, Nutella, coffee. Oh my god, that's a cute thing. Oh, I think to press orange. I love these peaches. It's a Donativo, and oh, was it? I think the best Donativo so far. I've had I had this delicious, almost like a bread pudding, but then it had different kinds of seeds and dried fruit, not sweet. It was so good. Um, yeah. Uh, one second. It is 10:20. I only walked almost nine kilometers for two hours. <laughs> so definitely taking our time this morning. And I was just saying to Judy, my Korean friend, how nice it is that we only have 15 kilometers because we got to sit there for probably half hour and just enjoy our morning. It was lovely. I had a coffee. I had a boiled egg and that uh, uh, fruit cake pudding type thing. It's so delicious. Um, and got to pet some puppies. Um, and actually I run into Neil from, I can't remember what day. Um, so we walked the last 10 minutes together to that place. He is walking to Astorga as well. Um, yeah. So that's been my morning so far. It's been lovely. It's starting to heat up. Today will be another hot one. Uh, but I only have another probably seven kilometers to go. I should be there soon. Just wanna thank Christina for buying me a cafe con leche. Thank you so much. And she's planning on doing her Camino May 2024, which is fantastic. I heard May is a lovely time to go. You're gonna see all the sunflowers and wildflowers and it'll be beautiful. So I'm very excited for you. And thank you so much for the Cafe Coleche. Also, quick note about Donativo. Um, these are uh, the people who do the Donativos or who set up these Donativos, they go through a lot of work like he had coffee, hot water, different types of teas, different types of spreads for bread, um, different types of milk for your coffee, uh, fruit, cheese, marmalade, uh, different kinds of bread like a homemade, it looked like a homemade bread and then some multi-grain bread and boiled eggs. Um, if you're going to take stuff from the Donativo, please make sure that you donate accordingly because food prices are quite expensive. So it's, you know, he doesn't get compensated by anyone for that. He's just doing it because he loves to provide for the pilgrims. So if you're going to have a coffee and some cake and egg and, you know, cheese, um, don't just donate like 50 cents. 
make sure you donate accordingly. That same goes for the um, albergues that are donativos. I wasn't aware that an albergue that's donativo, they sometimes offer uh, dinner and breakfast, and that's donativo as well. So you're staying there, you're eating dinner, and then you're having breakfast. So donate accordingly. Uh, don't just donate uh, a euro or two euros. Like that all costs money, especially the food. And if you're gonna stay and use the washroom and you know, they have to clean everything, uh, please donate according. That's all for today. <laughs>
but she told me it's uh, 115 and she thought I asked her is that enough time because she said they closed at 2 and then she's like yeah but you're gonna rush uh, there's four floors so I'll come back and it's five euros I'll come back at four they they're open from four until eight so I'll do that I'm gonna see if I can go into the church Making some sandwiches, got some bread, and we got this for tomorrow. I just went, uh, we went to the grocery store, we bought some stuff to make sandwiches uh, for tomorrow, and I went back to Ivy's Albergue. It's the municipal, and they have a kitchen you can use, so we made the sandwiches there because my Albergue doesn't have a kitchen I can use. So now I'm just gonna drop off my stuff and then come back up and meet her and then we're going to do the Gaudi Museum and uh, probably the chocolate, uh, the chocolate museum, I mean the Gaudi Palace and the chocolate museum. Just at the chocolate factory. for tonight. Uh, I'm in Astorga. Uh, today I only walked 15 kilometers. My Both my knees were great. No issues. I did go to the pharmacy here. I bought another knee brace, some KT tape, which I thought was kind of expensive. It was 40 euros for both. Um, and I walked with Judy, Ivy, my Korean friends, and Alexandra a Croatian woman. Um, tomorrow I'm off to Fonsa Badan. It's only 25 kilometers and I already spoke to Ivy and we want to get an uh, early start so we're gonna leave like I think at 6 a.m. Um, tomorrow we start the climb. We start going up so hopefully my knees will be okay. Um, tonight I had dinner here at the albergue. It was, I got the veggie soup and then I had uh, spaghetti and meatballs. You can never have enough spaghetti and meatballs and ice cream for dessert. Um, that's it for today. Chat tomorrow.